Hello everybody, this is Carmen with Elemental Designs and today I just wanted to bring to you guys a share of um, this planner that I made. Um, so, more or less, this is what the planner looks like from the outside. Uh, like the spine is and then I pretty much use the same paper on both sides um, I am just right now I'm in love with it <laughs> we'll see what happens as I start to actually use it um, to show you what I use um, I use this washi I got this washi from the Dollar Tree I used uh, the papers from this paper collection the Immortal Love by DCVW and let's open this puppy up so that I can show you more or less what is inside. What triggered this whole thing was that I went to, I have this um, local little thrift store uh, around here. Um, and I, you know, I try to go there at least once or twice a week um, just to see what they have. But they had these planner stickers. And look at the price, you guys. 25 cents <laughs> you can't beat that so once I got that my mind started taking like okay now I have to make a planner <laughs> so um, and the years you know is coming to an end so why not uh, make something that you can actually uh, put to use so I got these two and then I got this little 2017 calendar and I got two of them um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out all the pages and then I'm just going to unify you know like stick together uh, the month since it's nice and small and I could actually you know fit it in here um, you know one way or the other and probably when I start making dashboards uh, for this by um, you know for this planner I'll be able to insert these um, little monthlies you know overviews so I got that and I got these two things and then I found something else which I know there's a lot of teachers here um, that do crafting and you might be familiar with this it's called the mailbox and it's the ultimate teachers plan book and I got it for a dollar and pretty much what it is is a calendar it's a blank calendar um, which is only used for school so it only has the days Monday through Friday but this is what I did so this little pouch I got from Vanessita to crafts um, she gave it to me through our happy mail exchange so I thought this was this would be a nice place to add this, and I have some washi tapes inside of there for right now. I added some little um, dimensional uh, little butterflies on here, and this is washi tape that I got from Cassandra Noise when I won the challenge that she um, hosted not so long ago. Sorry about those focus, um, but usually I have my phone positioned on this time. I kind of have to hold it so that I can show you. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, here's like um, the names of the children and their birth dates and just addresses and stuff. So as you can see, the paper itself, you know, it's a really long paper. So what I did is I folded them in half. I folded them in half and what I plan to do is when I'm done uh, using the one side, then I'll fold them the other way and then continue the months that I'm missing or whatever time I'm missing on the other side. That way I don't lose anything, you know, don't have to buy any more paper. Um, but yeah, this is what I did and I just kind of started working on this so it's not, uh, you know, fully decorated. Um, but used uh, some of the stickers and I got these little flowers from... Tammy Southern Angels Boutique, so I thought these would look cute there. And this is more or less what I've started doing. As you can see, I haven't even started doing anything. These sheets have months on both sides. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use this yet, but maybe I'll do like two month sections. Um, that way I can see, you know, everything all at, at one shot. But I'll probably do that. And then it's got the five days of the week on the one side and a nice area for you to write. Uh, whatever it is that you got to write, but what I did is on the back of it, I added um, the Saturday and the Sunday, and then in the remaining area, just, you know, to add any notes for the week, and I kind of did that, you know, for all of them, 
and so far I mean as you guys can see there is quite an amount of paper here I mean so that's kind of what I did and this little book I got this from oh my god uh, Lala's Creation 12 why did I draw a blank there but I got this little book there and I just thought it fit the theme nicely um, but to tell you guys what I did to make this um, I grabbed um, I don't know if you guys seen um, those binders that they sell like in Family Dollar um, you know when school starts they're usually covered in some kind of plastic they're very cheap they usually don't last you know worth a damn so I had a few of them left over you know from buying my kids new supplies and then using up the old ones so what I did is I ripped off that plastic cover that it has and I just left the cardboard and then the spine attached to the three ring bind um, the three rings because for me it's just easier especially since I'm going to be um, DIYing it um, to just keep it in this system because I already have a, a punch that does these three <coughs> so it's just easier for me to keep it that way and then if I want to refill I could pretty much refill with any kind of paper um, be it leftover scrap paper um, be it leftover you know like scrapbooking paper whatever the case may be um, it'll be easier for me to cut the size and just you know punch the holes in so I did that and then once I stripped it all, I pretty much went into like a regular, uh, you know, kind of forming a mini album uh, process where you take the cover and then you just kind of attach here, leaving some space in the middle so that your book actually opens and closes. Um, and I should have done this process. I should have videotaped this process, but when I started doing it, I was just too overwhelmed I was too excited to actually I was I was I was focused let's just put it like that I was focused I was on a one-track mind and I was just like okay let's do this um so I went into the whole process of you know getting this whole thing stripped um you know showing you know just leaving the the cardboard it's a really thick cardboard as well um and so I like I said I made a uh, nice little thick strips uh, to kind of go along the side I did it for both sides and I glued them to the back and then on the binder itself on the inside I did the same thing in the middle section because you can't go over the two end tabs but you can slide paper in the middle <coughs> so that's what I did I kind of um, glued uh, paper here in the middle section um, to adhere the covers to it making sure that it was nicely scored that there was a nice space in between so that I can actually flip the book open and close uh, without a problem and then I proceeded to glue the paper once that was set and done so I glued the, the, the first cover and then on the inside I just used uh, black cardstock um, that I have um, and then to kind of go along you know like the the sides and to go to frame it out double-sided tape and washi and I did the same with the back um, I had originally put a different kind of paper back here but I didn't really like how it looked in combination to the front um, you know to the covers so I decided to kind of just washi the whole thing over um, and I, I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks overall um, and it's pretty sturdy and granted, I'm most likely not going to be traveling around the world with this thing because it does have some weight to it. Um, but to have it on my desk to keep track of daily tasks and phone calls and, you know, projects and things like that, I thought that this would uh, pretty much work very well. If I do happen to find a smaller version, then I'll probably go ahead and uh, try to do another one. And if I do find one, then I'll, I'll definitely videotape how I did that process um, just so you guys can see. <laughs> excuse me but for the most part um that's kind of what i did and i mean it's not necessarily a happy planner but it makes me happy if that helps at all um and if that counts for anything and i just wanted to come on here and show you guys that you can pretty much make a planner out of almost pretty much anything and if you have like binders um especially those plastic those plastic wrapped ones that are garbage that they've broken down on your children don't throw them away 
because you can just remove that plastic that's already broken anyway keep the binder you already have your spine set you have your front cover set um, all you have to do is pretty much cut it to the size which is what I did I cut off um, maybe about two inches an inch and a half yeah about two inches I would say on on the on this side on on the outside um, did I cut from the bottom I don't think I cut from the bottom no I didn't cut from the I didn't cut long wise I just cut on this end here just to make it more uh, you know in space with the actual paper and remember to leave yourself some room just in case you want to add any tabs or anything like that um, but this works great you can find the refills you can pretty much make your own refills which is easy peasy um, or you can use like school paper I mean you can use you know printer paper you can use any kind of paper um, to refill it um, and the dividers like subject dividers are you know good uh, good for making uh, you know dividing it up and making your months so on and so forth um, and yeah you could definitely put them things to use instead of throwing them away the cardboard is usually you know the best thing in these things um, so you already have some durable material and let me know what you guys think. Have a good one. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.